What is up guys, we are back with some more Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke and we are here at the 4th gym, um, which is the Ghost Gym, uh, an actual gym, like, exclusive. And we're gonna be going into this starting off with Checkmate. Um, as you guys know, we don't have Teardrops anymore and we replaced Teardrops out with Tank Buster. And it's funny because I thought I was gonna have, like, um, Bisharp soon, but then I kind of remembered that I think I think Ponyard evolves at like in its 50s or something maybe early 50s because I think gen 5 was when they started putting out more Pokemon that evolved like in their 40s 50s and 60s because the game kind of was long like that so um, I think it might be a good amount of time until checkmate evolves which is fine though because um, as far as like a nice, like, hard-hitting Dark-type and Steel-type. Checkmate's pretty well with that. Um, Sir Pex is more so kind of like the tank on the team. Um, I th think tank. And then I think Nikki can also be a tank, especially uh, being that we know... Well, it didn't matter which way I went. Being that we know Stockpile. Oh, just let me go. <laughs> What you gotta say, buddy? I wonder if they say the same exact thing that the fighting gym says. Maybe I should actually like let this dialogue get recorded better for you guys, being that in Sword I already like I think took my time through here. Yep, bye bye. And we're, we're at a pretty good level, too, I believe. Um, I don't know how I feel about the Corsola evolution and you, like, going up against it. But I think we should do pretty well. I'll most likely have to use... Um, I'll most likely have to use, like, an, an Aether or um, a Lepa Berry. Just because Assurance only has 10 uses on it. Unless I also use Neo, because I think Neo knows Bite. So, it's one of those situations. Because um, I, th I think I do want to use Checkmate in like the G Gigantamax battle. Thank you. That wasn't too bad. I don't know, maybe I should put Neo out there. It might be... I don't know, it might be more EXP for us to get? Maybe? I don't know. Well, I guess there's a good chance for us to check how much damage we would do against a Corsola. Because I think the Corsolas have pretty good defense. Ooh, and you know weak armor, so your attack's about to go up. Oh no, just your speed. Oh, that's it? That's all you're gonna do? Um... Guess Metal Claw is the best way to go, just for that extra stab effect. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing well, though. Um, I haven't recorded, like, videos in a long time. But also, channel update. Uh, congrats to us, guys. Thanks for keeping up with the channel. We hit 200 subscribers this week. And I was actually surprised we did, being that I hadn't been uploading anything. It was, like, the last video... Uh, I think part 11 was the last video that, oh, come on, just come on, let's go, <laughs> was the last video I actually uploaded. Um, so, I guess it was, 
it was interesting to see you guys respond pretty pretty well to the nuzlocke um this actually has me excited to see what else i can bring to the channel pokemon wise i think you guys are really enjoying it um i think after this one i will want to do another nuzlocke and i kind of want to know what nuzlocke you guys would be interested in seeing me do i'll probably just look at the comments and see um what you guys are interested in but i think like it's between emerald and uh emerald and platinum i think those would be great games to do just because they have some type of like longevity to them as well as like older pokemon mechanics that i'm pretty sure we all can appreciate and miss as well as like the difficulty too because we're always going to get to that that one gym where you're like oh no like they're about to wipe my whole team out Oh, we want to learn Slash. Uh, we'll get rid of Torment. Even though we can't use Slash in this gym. I'm like, it's 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 just the proper time to, to get rid of Torment. I don't really use Torment anyway. Drift Blim. Um, because I don't want to take the chance of Checkmate being taken out. Uh, we're going to switch to Nikki. And Nikki can use a, a little discharge out here. I'm actually I'm actually trying to remember what the max level of the Pokemon at this gym was. I don't I'm hoping it wasn't like 36. See how much this does. Okay, that did a decent amount. At least it wasn't a crit. I, I don't know I have like a feeling that I have a feeling that like their Pokemon's highest level is 36 for some reason I don't know why 36 just comes to mind I'd normally try to remember the Pokemon like levels for like the gym so I can try to see if like my team is up to where we need it to be um, how much do I have left on assurance I have five left. Um, let's see. We got Muscle Band on you. Your attack is 83. You get the stab. And then we have 97. And you know Bite. And I'm pretty sure you can take these hits better. Especially being Evolved. So I think I want to start off with Neo. Start off with Neo, and I think when it comes to like the last Pokemon, we'll probably Gigantamax Checkmate, and hopefully Checkmate doesn't get taken out in like one hit. I'm really trying to think what what the uh, what move they could know, because I know someone might come in here. Um, with like just a pure Dark type, and maybe. Maybe the gym leader will be ready with like a bug type move. I don't know. I think, I think some ghost Pokemon can learn like the bug type moves. And we all know bug type is super effective against dark. Which actually reminds me, since Pokemon Home came out this week, um, a lot of different moves are now accessible on older Pokemon. So I bred a shiny Umbreon because that's my favorite evolution. And I was so upset when I found out that we... We didn't have, um, we didn't have Toxic, like, available for Umbreon to learn. And I was kind of like, yeah, like, that's, like, the whole point of me, you know, getting my Umbreon is, like, Toxic Stall. And now that we have it, um, I'm ready to go put Toxic on that Umbreon. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe I won't even need to swap in Checkmate after getting that Howl off. I actually wanted to use Howl twice. I wasn't expecting them to start off with Disable like that. Oh, you want to learn Drill Pack? We get real Leer. So I think we still want Pluck just in case we go up against enemies that have berries on them. And we can eat those berries, I think. Who is your... 
Who was your last one? Who was your... 35. How many... Po you have four Pokemon, so... You're not the one that... Sh that he... Uh, Gigantamaxes. And you went out with ease. That's one thing about evolving um, the Corsola. Is that Corsola... Corsola... Um, ends up... Corsola ends up like losing all that defense. All that physical and special defense. Oh man, I mimic you. And you're faster than me. And you're using a move that gets crits too. That's hurtful. I thought they updated Mimikyu's disguise. Oh, okay, there we go. I was I thought they updated it to where you do take damage, but there we go. We saw it. I about to say, uh oh, y'all cheating out here. Oh man, totally forgot which Wait, I just took a risk. What if you get a crit? Oh, you didn't take it out? You might crit on this. I, I noticed typically when you heal up and they use a move that's high on crit, it gets the crit. Okay, proud of you. And then you want to use Hone Claws. But okay, this works out because I can keep Neo in actually. Um, instead of having to put Checkmate out there. With the boosted bite. Thanks to Howl. Um, oh, it's a Gengar. Gengar's going to be faster too. Oh man. I'm really hoping this wasn't like a bad decision. But we gonna keep Neo in. Yep, there we go, 36, that's why. Yeah, I knew 36 was gonna be your highest level. And that means this move is gonna hit really freaking hard. So maybe I should have put Checkmate in. But hopefully Gengar doesn't use the Dynamax move that takes us out. I'm actually surprised we're faster than the Gengar. Because Gengars in general are pretty freaking fast. That's why Gengar is actually like my favorite like ghost type. So let's see how this works out for us. Hopefully in our favor. I really just don't like the Gigantamax version of Gengar. Woo! Yo! That one hit KO was noise. <laughs> noise. Yeah, I think Gengars do, in general, have like a poor physical defense. Oh, look at that. We didn't lose anybody. Neo was the MVP for us on this one. Well, Checkmate got us through, like, the gym with, like, the other trainers. You know, good EXP, and then Neo came through uh, with, for one, not taking the hit too hard um, from any of, like, the Pokemon, and then just putting in work after that howl. Yeah, give me that ghost badge, bro. Give me that. Snatch. Oh, handshake. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Okay, we got Hex. Um, I have to check and see if I want to put that on Tank Buster or not. Uh, we actually got through that gym pretty fast. Uh, for some reason, I just want to start off with... N Wait, no, who are we about to fight? We're about to fight... Um, Bead, I think. I wish I knew Sword Dance on Checkmate. Okay, nobody can learn it anyway. But I don't know. It would have just been clutch to have a sword dance. So I could use sword dance. Um, use sword dance and then just sweep all these all these people. 
Bow work. <laughs> Bow work. Yes, tell me about the ancient story about Stow on side and Ooh, Kablooey. What in the world is that? Let us let us depart and check it out. As I just stare. I'm on my way. Oops, sparkle. He really went ham for these wishing stars for the chairman. I'll give him that, like, you know, I wasn't expecting him to go so hard for a person, but I guess it's like one of those wannabe tragic backstories of him being like an orphan and stuff, and this person took him in and kind of gave him like a reason to live. They like to do that in like anime and video games. Like, oh yeah, like I had nobody, so everything I do is for them. And you're kind of like, that's kind of weird, bro. Like you dedicating your whole life to doing whatever this one person says. Like, yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't see anything wrong or flawless with that. <laughs> uh, we get stabbed from assurance. Boom. I'm really loving that I named this one Checkmate because we're getting like some nice like hits on these guys. And we're getting these levels. Wow, you're gonna s just skip straight to kind of surprise. Um, I think you're also a fairy typing, right? Oh no, you don't. Ooh. Ooh. I wasn't I wasn't expecting it to do that much. That's why you did the switch. That's another thing, fairy types. I forgot dark is weak to fairy type, but luckily the steel typing balances it out so it's like a neutral hit. Ponyta, you're the one that um, that I think would have taken super effective damage from that move. Um, I didn't, oh yeah, you can't learn steel wing till you evolve. I guess I guess we'll just go with <laughs> we'll go with Tank Buster and I think I'll use Shadow Punch. Oh yep. Yeah. Neutral bro. I remember that episode of Pokemon where Ash went up against the Psychic Gym and they were like, yeah, the only way to beat the Psychic Gym is if you have a ghost type Pokemon. But it didn't make sense for Gen 1, being that the only Ghost-type Pokemon was um, the Ghastly Haunter Gengar line. And I guess they're Poison and and Ghost, so it didn't it didn't make sense to why you would send in a Poison-type. Because they take times 2 effective damage from Psychic-type abilities, so... I guess it was in no sense to like cancel each other out because Alakazam already was pretty OP and I guess they also didn't want Gengar to be too OP by being like the perfect counter to an Alakazam. So they were like, hey, let's make it poison. So that way these two can be on like equal footing and then it'll just be a battle of who's the faster Pokemon, I guess. But that was before they got in like into like all the technicality stuff with like IV, EV training stuff with the proper nature and all that. Um, back when Pokemon was simple and everybody just used like Dragonite, Dragonite Hyper Beam or Outrage I think <laughs> was, was the move to do back in the day. Yeah, get out of here with that bro, that weak sauce. We, we not about that life. We don't like it. I can't believe you destroyed it. Why would you do? Why would you do that? <laughs> All for the chairman. <laughs> As he's smiling. Oh, you guys now trying to make him look sad. He's doing this to save face, though. I think he doesn't really care about the mural, to be honest. 
it's just because we're here and like the other people are there. He's like, no, my only reason to live was for the chairman. Yeah, an awful turn of events. But look at that. We out here benefiting from his destruction. It doesn't even like matter which one you choose. They just give you like the right answer like the whole time. I guess it's to help you feel intuitive. Appreciate the revives. I can't use them though. <laughs> That's like the funny thing in the nuzzle. Like you get like the eyes. They're like, yeah, like revive your Pokemon anytime they faint. And you're like, bro, I wish I could, <laughs> but I can't. It's against the rules. Wait, are my Pokemon healed up before I just... Okay, yeah, no, they're not. This works out because I think we'll be in a new area. Which means I can catch new Pokemons. Or a new Pokemon. But I guess it's more so like a matter who I start off. I'll probably start off with Neo. Because I think that they're supposed to be, I think they're supposed to be fairy types in this area. Uh, I was going to go back and see like what the guy had to offer for like the daily, the daily item. But I figured that wasn't as important. One thing I found out in here too, that I didn't notice like the first time is like you can interact with these and it like... Helps light up the path. I had no idea that <laughs> that was... Wait, what? Oh, snap. That actually starts a battle. This is not going to count. <laughs> I never turned that one on before. <laughs> but I already have you too, so I couldn't catch you anyway if I wanted. So that kind of works out that way. I already have that too. <laughs> Just in case that was my wild encounter. <laughs> but that's actually interesting. So if you guys want to catch an Impidimp, that's an easy way. Is just lighting that up. You automatically get the chance to uh, catch one. Oh, there's another one there. I don't want to fight you, bro. But what if you were shiny? If you were shiny, I definitely would have been like, okay, we're catching you, using you on the team. Heck yeah, I got away safely. What was this little impidimp gonna do? Trip a dimp on me? Wow, I'm lame for that one. Okay, um, a Shinotic. And I have a freaking fire Pokemon. So Shinotic is fairy grass, I think? I think. Oh wow, that was a crit. Okay, I guess that kind of worked out. Why didn't it... Oh, you're gonna use Sleep Powder on me? It's supposed to be the other way around, bro. I think the Dust Ball is like our best bet in here. I don't even know what... What, what I would name this thing, if, like, when I catch it. Ooh, you know, Giga Drain. It's not gonna do much, right? That actually did more than I expected it to do. So what we're gonna do is... Uh, we're going to... 
Uh, where's... There we go. Oh, wow, I only have one chest, though, Barry. <laughs> We're gonna wake you up. <laughs> Hopefully you don't use sleep powder again. I'm actually surprised it's doing, like, that much damage. With Giga Drain. But we just got extreme speed your butt. Strength sap that lowers our attack and raises yours or something. Oh, that. What? I've never like used the Shinotic or like really fought them, so I'm like so thrown off by that. How much is Firefang gonna do now? Okay, I'm. I'm gonna take. No, I'm not gonna. I was. I'm about to say. I'm about to use Fire Fang again, but I'm not. I'm gonna use Extreme Speed. We're gonna go with another. Uh, another Dusk Ball. Hopefully. Oh my gosh, you and the self sustain. Okay, maybe I will use another Fire Fang. Oh, we burned you. Now I'm kind of like scared to really attack you like that. Let's use bite. <laughs> I'm really just thrown off that. That's really a move that lowers your attack and just like fully heals up Shinotic. It's funny, it's like this battle's more tough than than the gym battle. <laughs> but that's just because I don't want to make Shinotic faint. Are oh, you just going to keep using Strength Sap? How, how much lower are you trying to make my attack, bro? You're just making it so I can use Fire Fang more. That's, that's really it. You're going to run out of Moonlight. They should really make it so, like, the lower, like, the attack of, like, the Pokemon, like, each time you use, like, that, that move, like, it shouldn't take as much, or heal as much HP. Or maybe it does heal for, like, a certain percentage, but I just didn't notice because I've never used that move before. That's actually a really nice move to use against, like, a physical attacker. And there we go, we caught Shinotic. And... Um... Uh, I wanna call, I wanna call him Leech, or her. her. I'm gonna call her Leech because that's all you do, you leech off people's health. You find different ways to just stay alive. Um, and we're going to send you to the box. Maybe later on if, you know, things don't work out with Shimmy Sham. Um, that'll be like a nice like grass replacement. But till then I'm not too sure. Um, guys, that's it. I'm going to end this episode off here. I'm actually going to go back and heal up uh, Arcanine Neo. Because I'm out of things to awaken my Pokemon and... I don't want to give these guys like free hits like that. But thanks for watching. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. It helps out the channel. I remember we hit 200 guys. It's about time. Uh, we've been doing this for a couple of years. You know, people mostly just watch my Digimon content. And there's not that much Digimon content to put out there. So it worked out with the Switch and me making Pokemon and getting subscribers. So I appreciate you guys so much. And with that said, stay sharp. Later.